Hi there, it's Bob from Total Eclipse Glass. Today I'm in the studio making little embellishments, little attachments out of fine silver using a shock plate. A shock plate is essentially a piece of steel with impressions that have been pressed into the steel that you use little fine silver balls that you make yourself and you pound the little silver balls into the impression and you later use that to embellish your jewelry. These little shot plates work fantastic except for one thing. A lot of people have trouble getting the silver out of the impression once you've pounded it in. One of the little tricks or the little tips or little secrets to helping get the silver out is to use a little bit of oil, a little three-in-one oil. I use it and I, I basically rub the oil into all of the little crevices of the impressions and then I wipe it clean with a Kleenex or paper towel or something like that so that there's not excess oil on your shop plate. What you essentially need is what I use is fine silver balls. I hope the camera can focus on my hand and you can see the size of the little silver balls that I use. And the silver balls are, the size of the silver ball is chosen or determined by the size of the impression that I want. And I've actually got several of these shot plates and they come from very, very small little impressions to quite large impressions and which require different amounts of silver and different size silver balls. So essentially what you do is you choose the impression that you want to make and I have a little star here that I'm going to make and then you use your tweezers and you pick out a silver ball and you'll place it in the impression. The silver ball should be big enough so that it's just proud of the top of the surface a little bit. You can take a hammer and just start whacking it, but that, that doesn't generally re yield really good results. I have a little tool like this. And you can place the tool right on top, centered on top of your silver ball. And you have way more control. And you get a much cleaner strike with your hammer. So just give it a couple of whacks. That pounds the silver down into the impression and you want it so it's perfectly flat with the top. What you wind up with is your little silver ball stuck in the impression. And quite often those little silver balls are hard to get out. Uh, the tool I use to get it out, and what for the most part is the easiest, is a nail set. And I have a very sharp, very small diameter nail set on the tip. You'll take your nail set, you'll place it right on top of your silver that you've forced into the impression. And, and actually I'll show you first, but that silver in the, imp in the impression, in that shot plate, is stuck. And I can do whatever I want. I can whack it, and that silver is actually stuck in the impression. A nail set, you take your nail set, Center it right on top of the silver that you've pressed in the impression. Give it a couple of whacks. And that silver impression is now on the end of my nail set. And that's about the easiest way that I can think of to get your silver balls, your silver impressions, out of your shot plate. Now I've made several of these and I'm going to pick up the camera and I'm going to take it over to the workbench and I'm going to show you some of the other ones that I've already made today. And some of them are very small, like the one on the end of that nail set, but I've also got some larger ones that I want to show you as well. So I'm going to grab the camera and we'll walk over to my workbench and you'll see some other examples.
Okay, here on the workbench we have some other examples of some of the little embellishments that we've made. We've got, I'm going to hold my finger here and I get the camera to focus on those little itty bitty stars and you, you can see how small they are but there's several different shapes and different sizes there. I'll hold my finger on that one and you can see how large some of them are. And there's flowers and there's half moons and there's different shapes. There's all kinds of, of uh, shot plates that you can purchase, that you can order. Uh, Tucker Tools sell some great ones. Uh, Buffalo Rutland Company. Uh, they also make a good supply of shot plates. But anyways, that should give you an idea of how you use shot plates, how you get your silver out of your shot plate once you've pounded it in, and what you use your little embellishments for. And all it is for is for adding to your jewelry. It makes your jewelry more beautiful. It just adds little details and little embellishments that maybe other jewelers don't use. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Bob from Total Eclipse Class. Thank you.